Today, what we're going to be doing is subtracting by counting up. It's a way to find the difference. Finding the difference is another way of saying subtraction. Now, can you see that we've got a little frog on here today? That's because frogs like jumping. And we've used the frog before in class, so I thought it would be a good way to remind you today. So, 42 take away 36 is our number sentence. What we need to do is flip it. We're going to start at 36 and we are going to count up to get to 42. So our frog, he is always going to jump to the big, fat, round tens number. OK, that's like a lily pad. OK, he wants to jump across to there. So we're going to go from 36 to that tens number. You should know your number bonds to 10. That should be a very quick calculation. 36 to get to 40, he's going to be jumping four. And then from the big fat round 10, 40, you can jump to 42 really easily with a jump of two. And we can add up those two jumps, four and two, which makes six. So the difference between 42 and 36 is six. It's quite straightforward. Remember, you start at the smaller number and then you jump up, see if you can find the next big fat round 10 and then you jump on again. Let's have a look at another example. This time we've got 31 take away 28. You can see I've set up my number line here. I've started at 28. My frog, as before, is going to jump to that big fat round 10s number lily pad going to jump from 28 to 30. If you use your number bonds to 10 you know that is 2 and then a teeny tiny jump here to 31 of 1. Add the two jumps, 2 add 1, easy peasy, it's a difference of 3. We'll do one more example and then it's time for you to have a go on your own. Our last example today is 63 take away 54. Now, have a think, which number am I going to start with on my number line? I'm going to start with the 54 because that's the smallest number and we're counting up today. So start with 54. We're going to put 63 at the other end. And what is that big fat round tens lily pad that we need to aim for? Yep, you're right, it's number 60 going to pop that here. I'm going to draw my lily pad around it just to remind me. Okay, 63, take away 54. We're going to count it up. 54, jump to 60. Using your number bonds, you know that that is a jump of six. Six, uh, sorry, 60 to get to 63. It's a smaller jump and we're adding three. Add those together. Six, add three, nine. There is a difference of nine. It's very straightforward. Remember your frog. Remember your frog always likes to jump to the big fat round tens lily pad and then you can do your smaller jump from there. You can have a go at the workbook pages. I'm sure you'll be able to do this easy peasy.